from Fox 19 Sports. This is the Bengals training camp special. Sponsored by Ray St. Clair Roofing and Metscore. We open with the play of the day on day five of training camp. Charlie Jones, welcome to the show. His second year as a Bengals wide receiver and making a splash play at training camp. My question for you as the show opens, are you jonesing for some more Bengals coverage? We got it right here only on the Bengals flagship TV station. Welcome into the show. I am Jeremy Rao. He is Joe Daneman. Big show ahead these next 30 minutes, live outside of Paycor Stadium, day five of training camp. And Joe Burrow might have had a half day. Jamar Chase not yet practicing, but still, I guarantee you this is going to be a show loaded with some great Bengals stuff. Yeah, the first five days of Bengals training camp have felt like this runway to what's about to happen yep. on Tuesday here at Paycor Stadium. That's when the pads go on and it starts to look, feel, and sound more like football. Zach Taylor said today all healthy players will be in pads and thudding on Tuesday here at Paycor Stadium. So let's show you the entire team here. We talked about the Bengals team. Let's talk about the Fox 19 now team. The flagship is flexing a little <laughs> bit tonight. This 30-minute show will be joined by Gabby Sorrentino and Reagan Holgate, who are inside the Bengals' locker room. One-on-one -on -one interviews with Von Bell and Trenton Irwin, who signs more autographs out here than he does. <laughs> I'll explain a little bit later in the show as we continue this Bengals live 30-minute special. All right, let's get to it. Highlights from camp day five outside of Paycor Stadium. We start with Jamar Chase. We talked about it. He has yet to practice. We still don't know when he's going to practice, but certainly has been a big storyline. As for Joe Burrow, a half day for him. Limited throwing, did not do 11 on 11, but certainly Zach Taylor said he looks as good as he could be. Now, as for the highlights... A lot of guys still battling for that true number three spot for Joe Burrow's special crew of wide receivers. Mike Kosicki making a statement early in camp, I think, already. We also saw some splash today from Zach Moss. Now, Zach Taylor told us he has not yet to define a true bell cow in this running back room. Who's going to lead the way? He said that starts when pads hit on Tuesday, but Zach Moss has looked great. And again, we talked about it. Charlie Jones making the biggest play of camp on day five. We talked with some of the young receivers in that room and simply asked them about the competition they're already getting here with the Bengals. The more competition, the better, especially for a group like us. Like um, We're competing and no one's taking it the wrong way. We're pushing each other uh, and we have a lot of special people in the room. So I think it's just bringing everyone up um, and just being competitive and playing football. T and Jamar have been somewhat limited. Jamar hasn't practiced yet. T's been somewhat limited. But how much can you glean from them? Just talking with them, how helpful has that been already? Uh, it's good. You know, um, it's kind of been a good thing, uh, you know, that Jamar has also been able to sit out and watch me more, um, you know, because I feel like, you know, if he was practicing, you know, he probably wouldn't see everything that, you know, all my flaws and or anything that he wants to correct. So, but I feel like as of right now, you know, um, you know, he could he could watch every rep and, you know, he can come to me after every rep. You know, sometimes he does. You know, after every other rep, he'll come to me and say, hey, this and this and that. So uh, I, I, it's pretty dope. But um, same thing with T. Uh, T pays attention to when he's not in. And, um, you know, he'll say some stuff to me as well. So just learning from those guys is, you know, um, I feel like it'll take me a long way. And Jermaine Burton told me he already feels like a Swiss Army knife the way the Bengals are using him and a lot of excitement around Jermaine Burton and what he could be even as a rookie for this team. And I hope you noticed the jersey behind him inside his locker. Yeah. Look, the Bengals will move into their new locker room. I say new, it's their old one. It's revamped and I keep hearing great reviews on this. We'll see it tomorrow, but that jersey is going to come with them. It's a signed Chad Ocho Cinco jersey. <laughs> By the way, Chad just retweeted me. Ooh. So my mentions are going to be going okay. off all night long, thanks to Chad. Let's <laughs> send it on over to Gabby and Reagan and what they have from inside the Bengals locker room. Okay, well, Joe and Jerry, you keep talking about this offense, and obviously <laughs> that's been a big storyline this week. Okay, there's been some flashy plays, <laughs> yeah. but the defense is important too. And Gabby, we've got to talk about this defensive unit. Yeah, we can't forget about those defensive guys, Reagan. We've been seeing a lot of pass breakups mm -hmm. in practice. We've been seeing a few interceptions. And let me tell you, when those big defensive plays happen, 
that whole group goes nuts. They're jumping Love on each it. other. Love they're it. cheering. They're having a good time. And that's what it's all about, right? And I think head coach Zach Taylor is also cheering for them a little bit. We heard him <laughs> say in his press conference earlier today that he really likes where this unit is headed. And again, mm. we're only five days in here. And one of the key pieces of this defense is ninth year veteran Vaughn Bell. Mm -hmm. He's been around, okay, the man has seen it <laughs> all and he's he's here to help give these rookies maybe his words of wisdom. Cause again, he's seen so much in this <laughs> league so far. So I had the chance to go one-on-one -on -one in the locker room with him today. Let's hear from him. Week one of training camp in the books. Just kind of tell me how you're feeling, how things are feeling out there. I'm feeling good. Um, a lot of great communication, a lot of guys making plays on the ball. The young guys are growing up before my eyes. And you're just steadily seeing the, the constant progression and uh, the, right, the right, right steps in the right places to the, uh, to the places we want to get to. And uh, we just keep on getting better each day. We touch the field and as a unit collectively. And you keep saying those young guys growing up before you guys, do you feel like you're kind of the old guy out there giving them your words of wisdom maybe? I think so. I got a couple of grades in my beard now. It's like, <laughs> dang. <laughs> you know, Father Time did come. So, uh, yeah, everybody keep on asking how I think, how I look at things, how I view things. And uh, a lot of guys that play a lot of ball on the side of on the side of on our side of defense, um, they always always putting in their two cents too. So we're always picking off each other and um, off each other's brains and knowledge of the game and experience. And so and coaches ask what we see too. So how we feel, how we do things out there. So it's a it's an open collective room for sure. And I feel like the biggest storyline this week has just been the rookies, obviously getting their reps in. What are you seeing from the young guys uh, early on here? Oh, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of constant, constant improvement for the young guys, the, the urgency, the communication, and playmaking. And uh, those guys just really just want to go out there and just stamp their name on this league, and they're hungry to make plays, and uh, and they're just trying to see what they can do and get better at every day. And uh, that's a great thing. That's a great thing and great sign, especially being coachable and just being open to the coaching and, 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 and collective criticism. So well, that's how you get better and finding that 1% and just keep on developing as yourself as this league. How about your biggest takeaways from your defensive unit so far? Biggest takeaways right now? Uh, our communication is great right now. Um, Pre-snap and post-snap. And we're just starting to uh, fill off each other and uh, play off each other. So that's the biggest thing right now for sure. How's it feel to be back? It's great. It's a blessing, you know? Who they? <laughs> I love that ending there, Reagan. And something that I find really interesting, we've been talking to a lot of the younger guys mm -hmm. the past few days, so I think it's a really cool perspective hearing from someone who's been here, he's done this before, and is now helping those younger guys. Yeah, and he talks about father time and how there's a few more gray, be gray hairs yeah. in, the be in the beard this season now. But, okay, it's time to go back to Joe and Jer. <laughs> Jer, I know I've seen a few gray hairs Ooh. on your head recently. I don't know if that's from Gabby or I or what that could be. <laughs> I'm going to go Jamar Chase here and say no comment, uh. but thank you, ladies. <laughs> Could this be a signature season for Joe Burrow in more ways than one? We have that special feature right here, only on Fox 19 now in our Bengals training camp special. A few weeks till camp.